Hi everyone. Uh, so very happy to have Dr. Mihir today, uh, uh, who's rank one zero eight in INI November twenty three. So so congratulations, Mihir. And and from what I know, you I think have been a BTR student from the very beginning. Uh, and I and I keep seeing your uh, you know updates on Insta and your messages on Insta. And it makes me so happy uh, to see this result from you. And and please uh, share your journey with the students. How are you feeling? The stage is all yours. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've been a student of BTR since the uh, beginning. Beginning. Uh, so uh, I got to know about you from uh, after NEET because uh, I'd gotten a rank of thirteen thousand with my internship because I'm from uh, batch two thousand seventeen. So I gave uh, NEET with uh, my internship itself, and I got a rank of thirteen thousand. And uh, I wanted to do medicine, so I was not uh, really sure of picking up a college from there, and was a bit lost. So yeah. I got uh, introduced to your style of teaching and your videos through uh, through some of my close friends. Mm -hmm. I saw that uh, post neat result video from yeah. where I got to know about BTR and I got to know about uh, how I should approach things because uh, till then uh, we, I did not have a lot of guidance because uh, our college is uh, relatively new. I was only our batch was only the second batch and uh, so ne neither did our seniors know much nor did we uh, planning etc. So from there, I got a plan as to how I should plan up to uh, May INI. And I got to know what, what are the important topics, etc. for uh, INI. So I just decided to do uh, those important topics up to uh, May INI. And uh, when uh, BTR got launched on Cerebellum, I subscribed on the very first day and uh, just watched all the videos and uh, did PYQs and uh, went and gave uh, May INI. And I got a good jump. Uh, I uh, secured a rank of 1900 in May INI. From a rank of 13,000. So I got to know that this was the right way to go. And uh, uh, this is what is needed. This is the amount of uh, study that you have to do. You don't have to do uh, work to, uh, you don't have to work on the content too much. You have to go for uh, high yield content and then master your uh, skills of uh, approaching questions and uh, give, giving exam, which I got to know through the Ashavar class. Yeah. And uh, so I took it from there. Uh, I took a break for around uh, one week after. Uh, me I and I and uh, started off with your schedule again okay. that was a big plus because uh, I did not really know how to uh, approach my revision cycles or the first read as such and the planning part was done on your behalf so I did not have to worry much about it yeah. so I just uh, followed that schedule and uh, did a BTR a video plus a note making etc in the first cycle and uh, did PYQs and uh, whatever you had told us were the high yield uh, sub uh, topics for those subjects. Mm -hmm. I just uh, went back for those to my uh, main notes or maybe to the revision videos, which I did not do much. I mainly went for my uh, main notes and uh, did the main QBank for uh, those topics. So I was in a span of four to five days. I was uh, done with the most high yield stuff for that subject that I felt. Right. And uh, then we had the bonus BTR classes, which further consolidated whatever needed to be done. And I took it from there. And uh, that was about it, ma'am, for the first cycle. I mean, and you actually did everything, you know, which which I I wanted you guys to, and and that's amazing, you know. Uh, it's it's one thing to say, and one thing to implement, you know. So so amazing. And and how was the uh, END cycle for you? Um, uh, that was actually the game changer. I had uh, texted you uh, after the second or first END uh, that uh, this feels uh, like the right way, and I'm very thankful to you. Because uh, I had understood from uh, the May I and I and uh, from uh, GTs that I was giving that it is more about question solving and how to approach newer questions that were going to be there. Because even though I had not done very well in NEET, I knew uh, a, new, a little bit about everything. And I had seen that uh, in May I and I, I think there were things that could not be only from the notes. So I understood that this was the way forward. And uh, then I approached GTs as that in that way only. And when the uh, END came, so from the first END, I understood the template that half of those things were going to be P PYQs only. I mean, uh, 50 PYQs uh, or 200 PYQs into 50 PYQs were going to be there. I had to get uh, at least 95, 100% of them right. And uh, whatever 50 questions were going to be new or those I had not seen. I had yeah. to think about them and get around 60 to 65 percent of those right. So I'll uh, land on the spot of 80 to 85 percent right in the final exam. That will be a good score. Correct. So how much were you scoring in the ENDs? Uh, were you like usually in the uh, in the top 20 or 30? 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, in uh, majority of the ENDs, maybe uh, five hours in the top ten or top twenty. So, yeah. I mean, so your score would be roughly around eighty-five. What whatever you had planned, you know, so you, it went according to that. Amazing. Uh, tell me more about GTs. Uh, what was your frequency? How would you analyze? That's also something which troubles you know a lot of students. And what uh, score stuck? <laughs> ma'am, actually, my score was stuck at the beginning, but uh, before uh, May I na uh, I was. Uh, at around one thirty uh, for a long time, and I did not know the way forward. Right. But uh, uh, then in the May, I I think I might have scored around one forty plus, which is why I got uh, that rank. So yeah. from there, I decided to uh, implement uh, whatever I had learned, the question solving ability or the way to uh, the trick to solving questions from the Ashirwad class. That uh, that was a new concept for me, which you had said that was cliched, but. Uh, yeah. for me it was a new concept and uh, that held me in the exam and then in further gts as well so i used usually used to go with that approach only and uh, my score uh, uh, went up slightly so yeah. i was uh, at 140s uh, where about of 140s in the initial parts and then up to august i reached around 160 or there about and I think that's a great curve, and and eventually you must have done one sixty to one sixty five, correct? I think in the actual exam, that's okay. great. That that kind of a growth is amazing, and and that's what every student should look for, you know, to improve with every passing GT and work on actually, you know, what matters rather than just adding sources, you know, work on what matters and where they they are weak at. So that is what you recognized very well. Um, just last question, like, how was the exam day for you, and and you know, uh, did you go in with a preset notion that ये ऐसे करना है, and did go according to plan? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so, ma'am, uh, leading up to the uh, exam day, I was having a very difficult time staying in the present because I would mm -hmm. either th either think about uh, what I could have done differently, or I would usually think about uh, how I'll go about things after the exam. It was difficult yeah. to stay in the present. But, yeah. ma'am, uh, then uh, the offline uh, BTR that I had attended and your MIB sessions actually helped with that. Uh, maybe you know uh, that emotional uh, turmoil also that I was in. It helped that way as well. And uh, on the uh, day, ma'am, I just uh, went in with the thought that whatever I had done, I was scoring uh, well along with that only. If I even stayed on that same baseline, I would uh, do well. I had thought, so I just decided to stay in the present and uh, look at each question on its merit, as you had told us. And uh, I think that was the most important thing that I did. Along with that, ma'am, uh, the exam pattern change that was there, I yes. think that uh, actually helped me because I usually used to go for custom modules that way only. Yeah. I used to take around uh, 40 45 minutes for a 50 uh, minute uh, 50 question uh, custom module a mix yeah. pack custom module and I just thought that I'd go with that approach that I'm going to give four custom modules in a span of 3 hours so that helped nice nice amazing and and you could st uh, stick with the stipulated time there was no issue with time management yes ma'am I usually was left with around 5 to 6 minutes in each set uh in the third set i uh, i had left a bit too many questions to be revised so i think i left two or two, two or three questions which i could not eliminate uh, mm -hmm. there the uh, rest of the sets were uh, really good totally how many did you end up attempting out of 200 uh, i attempted ma'am 193 there were five to six questions which i felt that i could not eliminate even one question so i did not want to take uh, I think most of the people who I've interviewed this time have attempted one ninety to one ninety five. Like very rarely have I seen anybody because of the change in pattern, right? Like every set you'll end up uh, skipping at least one or two questions, so it ends up being a higher amount usually. Earlier people would attempt more than one ninety five, but this time all of the toppers like homogeneously have attempted one ninety to one ninety five. That's interesting. Um, you also said about offline, so just you know, uh, to know about it, how did you use it? Because lots of students who are online. Uh, you know who have done the online btr content how did you use the offline did you like literally write everything or were you doing active recall on your own and only writing selectively what how was your approach for the offline class no no ma'am uh, i was only writing selectively uh, i used i just used it as, as an extra active recall cycle i thought i thought of it that i'll recall everything uh, all 19 subjects in 3 days that will be a good thing to do it will give me an uh, extra boost along with that whatever i could not remember i wrote that so i had at the end of the 3 days i had a copy or a book which had everything that i could not remember from my main uh, source so yeah. uh, just during the last revision cycle i would open both books and yeah. i would see okay from this subject this, these are the things that i did not remember so on the last day it gave me a, an extra confidence that whatever i did not know i have seen in the last 10 days so i uh, go about it better and 
few things I picked up, which I had not picked up from uh, online media itself. I got to know about those a few tests, etc. That uh, I used to not uh, understand, like uh, lift off test or uh, empty can test, etc. You just demonstrated it, and it uh, stuck with me better. So that it. Amazing! I think I'm so happy, you know, to listen to your entire journey and and you know, uh, being so closely involved, you know, it makes me very happy uh, uh, to see your result and many congratulations and you know, heartiest best wishes for your uh, uh, residency, hopefully in medicine, uh, in the Central Institute is what I pray for. So so congratulations and very well done. Any any last advice that you want to give or any shout outs to your family, your friends, the teachers who have helped you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that was what I wanted to ask you. Uh, for uh, yes, ma'am. Art. First of all, I would like to thank my parents because uh, I have I am from a college where uh, there is a stipulated bond for three four years. Uh, so my parents uh, did not get me to fill that bond, and that helped me because I could stay at home. And I am seeing that uh, students around me uh, or my friends actually it's a little difficult for them, and I feel for them. But uh, this helped me. So a big thank you to those uh, to uh, my parents, uh, my brother, and my family. Then uh, a lot of my friends who have helped me keep uh, myself sane during this period because uh, staying at home uh, for six months is also a little difficult. So mm-hmm. all of my friends, I know they know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And ma'am, uh, lastly to you, ma'am, it's been a really uh, great journey, ma'am, with you because I I don't think I would have done this because I did not have the right amount, uh, right kind of guidance from my uh, seniors to not fault of theirs because they also did not have it. So, ma'am, uh, that is it, ma'am. Uh, you have been a teacher, but you've also been a very good senior to me. So, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, and uh, you know, it makes me so happy that I could do that for you. And uh, uh, you know, you will be that guiding light for a lot of other juniors of yours. And I'm so so happy, you know, that you take it forward from here. Um, many congratulations, and do well, and continue smiling like this always is what I'll pray. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye.